operator station and controls. Now, let's check out the operator's compartment. Climb up, making sure you maintain three points of contact on the angled steps. Clean, adjust, and inspect external mirrors. Check the window glass, mirrors, floor, and interior, and clean as needed. Fasten the seat belt and adjust the seat and steering wheel for maximum comfort. The seat should be adjusted so that full pedal travel is allowed while the operator is seated upright, back against the seat. A forward and high seating position optimizes visibility for the operator. Adjust the seat height with the mechanical or optional air pump. Inspect the gauges and controls. Your lights, transmission neutralizer, auto shift switch, and transmission control are located to the left of the steering wheel. The dial on the shifter can be rotated to select the maximum gear runout speed. On VersaLink machines, you will also notice a circular foot pedal on the left that actuates diff lock on the front axle. On the right front panel, you'll find the windshield wipers for the front and rear, and either dual mode steering or secondary steering if installed. On the electrical control panel, you will see the implement disable, throttle lock, and speed set resume, as well as the coupler control switches in the first row. In the second row, there are defrost, kickout controls for either forks or bucket, and ride control and reversing fan if equipped. In the third row, you'll find the heater and air conditioner controls. Insert the key and turn the switch to the first position. Let the auto diagnostic system cycle. Crank the machine and let it warm up. Watch the gauges and cycle the controls. Make sure they function as you expect and as intended. Note the different warning indicators. The CAT H series small wheel loaders feature an operator programmable transmission neutralizer switch. The machine defaults to neutralize the transmission when the brake pedal is depressed. To set the brake pressure, select the switch, then apply the brake to the desired amount of pressure and release the switch when complete. Refer to your OMM. The system may be deactivated if desired. When the transmission is in neutral, this permits a faster engine speed, which in turn creates a quicker hydraulic response. You may need that improved response to raise the bucket while simultaneously positioning it. 